Well, 8, 9, 10 are similar exercises here, and they have three incomplete proportions. Let's see if we get this done. Remember, uh, I've got the shaded triangles here. I've got this triangle similar to this one, similar to this one. But we've got to get them in the right order. Here's my little trick. I'm going to mark just the pair, one pair of the congruent um, angles, that is, for the, um, the acute angles. Obviously, the right angles are congruent. And now I'm going to put them in order this way. I'm going to say from X, that's the right angle, to W, the right angle, to Z. Well, that covers this triangle. And that compares to this triangle, again, the red angle, to the right angle, to the third vertex, to the overall triangle, the red angle, to the right, oh, the right angle to the Y. So that's how you get the vertices in the same order, or the correct order. And then all we've got to do is figure out this. XW, where is XW? That's this, is to ZW as ZW is to YW, because this is the geometric mean. Okay, let's try 9. Speed it up a little bit here. And I'll mark these two angles. And I'm just going to say Q, S, R, that's similar to over here, S, T, the right angle, R, similar to, again, Q, the right angle at T, S, the missing segment, R, Q. As a matter of fact, where is RQ? Well, RQ is the entire segment here, that, or the entire hypotenuse of the overall triangle. That is to SQ as SQ is to TQ. And finally, one more. I'm going to mark these two angles congruent, because they are, and I'm going to label differently this time. I'm going from E to F, so that's across the hypotenuse of the overall triangle. EFG, well, in the next triangle, that would be E, G, hypotenuse, ending at H, the right angle, similar to this one, G, F, H. And let's look here. We've got EF, that is the entire hypotenuse, is to EG, that's the side, as EG is to, it would have to be EH. Uh-oh. All right, let's look at that one again. EF, that's this hypotenuse, is to EG. Well, I'm sure glad somebody said something there because that should be EH. And we're done. Now let's start out with a couple of these error analysis questions. These ratios aren't quite right. This one nor this one. First off, um, this one, well, Z, Z is a geometric mean. But it's a geometric mean between the adjacent piece of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse. So let's say it this way. V is to Z as z is to w plus v. It should look a little bit more like that. So the red will be the replacement. And that's, again, theorem 7-7. Seven, seven. Now, down here, we know the altitude to the hypotenuse is a geometric mean, as we see here in 12. But it's supposed to be the geometric mean between the two components, or the two pieces of the hypotenuse in this case, E and G. So let's just rewrite it this way. E is to D, as D is to G. Easy exercise here. Y is the geometric mean between 5 and 8. So set it up this way. 5 is to Y, as Y is to 8. Cross multiply and take the square root. In simplified radical form, I suppose you'd have 2 radical 10. Just a little bit different here. I've got the 6 as the geometric mean between 8 and the expression b plus 3. We can still write the proportion that way. 8 is to 6. 
as 6 is to b plus 3. And right there, remember when you're multiplying this expression, that's 8 times b plus 8 times 3. Distribute the expression, that is. And then you're really done. 1.5, the value of b. Well, here on number 23, let's find the three missing variables. We've got x, y, and z. I'm going to start with the x here. And this will be an easy one. We'll say that the altitude to hypotenuse is the geometric mean between these two pieces of the hypotenuse. x is to 12 as 12 is to 16. Pretty straightforward. Cross product. And x is, of course, 9. Now, really, from here, we could just use these two are multiples of the 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. We could just say 9, 12, 15. We could say 12, 16, 20 and be done. But we'll just, we'll just humor the author here and we're just going to make sure that we know how to do this. We can also say that x, in this case 9, is to y as y is to 25. That's 9 plus 16. And you see that that works out. y is 15. Again, 3, 4, 5, 9, 12, 15. Now, down here on the green, I've got 12, 16, 20, or 16 is to z, as z is to 16 plus 9, or 25. Work that out, and you've got your 20. And overall, if you look at the overall triangle, again, a multiple of 3, 4, 5, 15, 20, 25.